everybody welcome back welcome back to my book channel thank you for coming thank you for being here today we are going to do our February wrap up y'all I am so excited to do this February wrap up because I have more than one or two books on my February wrap up February was actually good to me between reading physical books and reading physical books and listening to the audio that really seemed to help me out a lot with finishing up the number of books that I wanted to finish up for the month of February and I did really good y'all I am so proud of myself so I just get myself a pat on the back if you're not subscribed you need to subscribe because I put up a vlog twice a week which is on a Wednesday and a Sunday and again it's all about books where we talk about books we give good book recommendations and we are just a book family and we just love to discuss books books that we have actually seen and books that we have not ever seen before and like you will say I gotta have that on my TBR list or I gotta have that on my shelf so without further ado let's get straight into the video hey guys let's get started with my TBR for February so I read one, two, three, four. I read six books in the month of February. Y'all, I deserve a pat on the back. You guys know that I will have like five books or something on my TBR and I would barely get through two of them. I got through six books this February. Six. And I am so excited. I am so proud of myself and I really did enjoy most of the books that I read in the month of February. So let's get started with our February wrap up. So the first book on the list is Happy Place by Emily Henry. I rated this book a three star I think. No I rated it a four star. I rated this book a four star it was a fairly good book for me it's just that for some reason it was just hard for me to get into this book in the very beginning it started off kind of weird to me um which it did and it didn't because like it pretty much started off with them at the the house or the cabin um that was owned by sabrina's family but I don't know. I don't know why it started off so weird and so boring to me. Um, so it took me a minute to read it. But once I actually got down to the meat and gravy of the book, Harriet and Wynn was like the perfect couple um, when they were in high school, in college. And um, they pretty much kind of fit together like salt and pepper. Um, but for reasons of life, they actually grew apart um and sabrina and cleo and all the other uh people that was in the book they really did not know that um harriet and Wynn were actually not together not together and um, when Sabrina got all of them together and invited them to the little cabin, um, I think Wynn probably thought that he should not have come because like now they will have to pretend that they are actually a couple, like live in the same room because like Sabrina had an itinerary, itinerary for the whole time that they were there and when and Harriet was on it like they were actually a couple which they were not because they had not been a couple for a long time when was in the medical field and I mean uh, Harriet was in the medical field and to my understanding when was like um like he worked in a bookstore or like built things with his hands if I'm not mistaken but all in all they still fit together like salt and pepper to the other group so there were a lot of things that each other did not know from when they moved away from after they were in college so when they actually came 
back together for Sabrina's wedding. A lot of things that they were trying to hide was just actually messing up the atmosphere of what Sabrina felt like should have been uh, for her um, itinerary and for her wedding. So toward the end, things start coming out. Um, everybody pretty much told the secrets that had been going on for a while. Um, Harriet and Wynn actually had a chance to talk and to mend their relationship and actually see if they could actually be a couple again. So, fairly nice book. Um, like I said, it was hard for me to actually get into her writing. And I've always had Book Lover and um, Beach Read on my mind to get, but uh, I don't know. I don't know if I actually want to get those two books because it was so hard for me to get into this book. But again, once I got into it, I actually really did enjoy reading that book. So the next one that I read is by a great author. It's Long Shot by Kennedy Ryan. It's a Hoops novel. It's book one in the Hoops novel. Um, to start out with, I rated this one, I think, a four star. This book has a lot of triggers where it has a, well, a few triggers in it. Um, domestic violence, sexual abuse, um, physical and mental abuse, and it involves like a kid um, being not being sexually abused or physically abused or anything like that, but a kid was actually born within, you know, the situation that um, Iris was in. So just be warned that this one does have trigger warnings in it if that's something that is not your thing. But I did rate this book a four star. Iris and August became my best series couple. I just love the way they, when they met, it was like love and sparks at first sight. And, um, but Iris was actually dating someone else, which was the rival, rivalry of the guy that she met at the bar, which was August. Um, but the guy that Iris was with, Caleb, he was somebody that she actually did not know until he found out that August might be interested in Iris or vice versa. And he became really angry because that little basketball rivalry thing was like really, really big. And so he actually showed his true colors when it came down to Iris behind closed doors. Um, but Iris actually overcame um, all the stuff that she had to go through during the time that she was with Caleb and it made her stronger and it made the bond between her and August stronger. Um, so this was a very good book. Kennedy Ryan, I love her books. I love how she write her books. And you can just tell like she, she knows some things like, or maybe she's been through some things within her life, but four star long shot by Kennedy Ryan. The next one is On Rotation by Charlene Adabu. I hope I said that name right. I gave this one a, did I give it a three star y'all or a four star? I gave this one a three star. I did like this book. I enjoyed um, Angie, which was the main character in this book. She was a Ghanaian. Um, medical student and um, she was just up under so much pressure her family wanted her to be a certain thing and date a certain person because they felt like of course being a Ghanaian that she already had that against her and I guess they just had some high family morals but Angie just wanted to be herself she wanted to um, graduating what she wanted to graduate in which was still the medical field but she wanted to have her own life and not have so many stipulations um, and things that she had to prove to anybody when it came down to what she wanted to do in her life um, her it, Angie had a roommate which her and um, Nina were best friends um, 
pretty much Angie just started going through some things in her life that she had to get up under control as far as um, getting her parents to understand like, hey, um, I will be successful um, and I, I just want to live my life the way I want to live my life and love who I want to love. And so that is exactly what she did. She actually grew some balls toward the middle of this book and put her parents in place. And she actually found the love that she wanted. And she kind of had a, a happy ever after. So um, on rotation. Uh oh, very nice book. The next book that I read was Will by Will Smith. <laughs> Y'all, I got the audio book to go with this book and that was the best thing that I ever did. That sun is sunning, ain't it? That was the best thing that I ever did, y'all. The audio was nothing but like eight or nine dollars and it was worth it when I read this book. Um, it was his voice that was actually on this book and I am a Will Smith fan so I was actually able to follow along with some of the things that he was saying that was happening in his life like I remember some of those things that he was talking about and um, with the audio they had some little like radio inserts within the audio that made the audio so worthwhile and made this book so damn interesting. Um, there was a lot of things that I knew in this book about what happened with Will Smith and then there were a lot of things that I did not. Um, the wall with his father, you know, I never really heard about his parents, how his dad died, um, and a lot of the things that he went through with Jada. And I never knew anybody before Jada, but he had like two different females, I think, that he was really interested in before Jada. And the Will Smith that everybody thought that he was, he actually was not that when he was growing up. And he started very young doing his music thing and his movie thing. And um, it was just a good book. It was just a good book. But I really do advise you guys to get the audio for this book because it makes it all worthwhile. So I gave this book a four star Will by Will Smith good good book so there's another book that I read it's called Honey and Spice um I forgot the author at least I don't even know how to say the author's name but it was a library book so I don't have it physically in hand but I'll pop up a picture somewhere of that book I think I gave that book like a three star I think it was a good book but it was for me it was kind of like an Emily Henry book um i just really could not get into it and throughout half of the book i was kind of confused um and i don't have the book physically in hand so like the characters kind of like slip in my mind so um again y'all it it was a it was a it was an okay book like i said i gave it a three star it i mean it was it was pretty much like you know the uh she was doing a and i my michaela michaela i can't pronounce a lot of their names but it was like she had a podcast she was trying to make a point um about men this that, and the other they were in college um, she was trying to make a point by dating a guy that she wanted to make uh, another guy jealous and she actually ended up um, liking this guy liking the way he treated her and things of that nature um, but I did give it a three star y'all I, I, and I can really honestly say like Honey and Spice the hype that you know they were giving Honey and Spice it just wasn't the hype for me so Honey and Spice is another book that I read in the month of February and the sixth book that I read in the month of February on my Kindle was Take a Chance um, by 
Micah Maya. I think that's how you say her name. <laughs> Y'all know I'm terrible with names, but it was a very short book. I think it was like 63, 64 pages. And it actually reminded me of, of this book. Take a Chance actually reminded me of Once Only for the Weekend. Take a Chance was a four star read for me. It was a short book, but it was a four star read for me. I did not want that book to end. Um, the characters that was in that book just really blew my mind. Let me tell you who the characters were. Cassandra and Cyrus they were like the dream come true couple they met uh, they knew each other from high school they grew up they uh, worlds hit different paths until Cassandra had to go on a vacation to New Mexico I think it was I think it, yeah to Mexico on her own because her sister got sick and her sister told her just go anyway enjoy yourself because you never do anything so Cassandra please go and enjoy yourself Sandra Cassandra actually went to enjoy herself she was not meaning or thinking that she was going to meet anybody in Mexico she was just going to go there relax and just have a good time without her sister and so Cyrus was there because his brother I think his brother was getting married and they actually um, seen each other at a bar and everything just started flooding from their own Cyrus and Cassandra um, they got back to knowing each other and like the sparks just flew and um, they got together and they just had a really nice time and then shortly after the book ended I was like no 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 please 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 have more pages or please I you could just give me another 63 page book it would be fine with me but take a chance very nice book I think I rated it what did I tell you guys I rated that book I rated it on here a three star and the reason why I rated it a three star because it ended so quick it just ended too quick it ended like it left me hanging it left me hanging thinking that there was more to Cassandra and Cyrus so Lord I hope that there is like a second book to take a chance I hope this is just not the only book for to take a chance because the, Cassandra and Cyrus deserves more Cassandra and Cyrus really deserves more so I will pop up a picture of that book somewhere in the um in the in the picture but y'all those were the six books that I read in February the six books that I read in February y'all I hope I gave y'all a good synopsis of what I felt about the book without trying to give spoilers um that is something that I really have to get better with because usually like I don't have that many books to talk about so I will have to get better with doing that part but y'all I was just so excited that I read six books in the month of February and I am about to get into my March TBR about to get into my March TBR which consists of six books and hopefully I can read more than six because like if I put my mind to six maybe I'll read those six and then I will start reading other books so we'll see how many books that I will read in the month of March um, I was looking at my Goodreads y'all and I think I said for the year of 2024 that I wanted to read What did I say? I said that I wanted to read 50 books. So I done read nine out of 50 books and Goodreads says that I'm two books ahead of schedule. <laughs> Goodreads says that I'm two books ahead of schedule. And I'm guessing that the reason why, um, like I hope y'all can see that I don't think y'all can see that clear 
but I guess it's saying that I am two books ahead of schedule because there are two books that I read that was not on my TBR two or three books I don't know if honey and spice was on my TBR or not but y'all I am two books ahead of schedule of the 50 books that I am supposed to read in 2024 so pet your girl on the back because she is doing so good but guys thank you so much for joining me today remember I post a um, a video twice a week on Wednesdays and Sundays and if you are not here and you are not subscribed I guarantee you that you're missing out you are so missing out but um great books that I read for the month of February anything that you guys want to say or ask me about the books just drop it down in the comments let me know if you read those books did you enjoy those books um, maybe you have a different synopsis or a different rating on the books than I did. Um, just drop it down in the comments. Let me know y'all. Give me some suggestions on books that you feel like that I need to read or that I need on my shelves. I'm always up for it y'all. I'm always up for more books. I'm always up for discussing books with you guys. So thank you guys. Bye guys.